Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is another video on Goldman Sachs Campus Selling Program 2025. In this video, I will be giving you the complete guide on the aptitude test and along with the sample test and they are sending selection and rejection mails to the candidates who are applied for this program. And also I will be giving you the guide on exam pattern of the aptitude test and along with the guidelines. And this is all about the Goldman Sachs Campus Hiring Program 2025. So if you like my content, please do subscribe to my channel and also join in my telegram group. I have provided the link in the description where I am sharing all the updates regarding internships and job opportunities. And also previously I have made a video on the uh, Goldman Sachs Campus Hiring Program 2025. How you have to prepare and how to crack this uh, program, our internship. So I have made a complete video along with the resources. I have pro provided all the resources for the aptitude test and next upcoming rounds like coding rounds or technical rounds or interviews, everything along with the resources I have provided in that video. I, will, I have provided the video link in the description. So watch that. And here is an, a shortlisted mail. So some candidates were received shortlisted mail for the Goldman Sachs campus hiring program and also they advised to take the sample test. So just by clicking on that the sample test will be activated and that can be taken from September 19 to September 21. So this is a just sample test it's not mandatory to take but it is uh, very important uh, to get uh, familiar with the interface and the test environment so that uh, you will not have any uh, confusions or any doubts on the actual test so that is an aptitude test so to not get any confusions or any doubts just take the sample test and the sample test i also have uh, i will give the brief description along with the exam pattern and uh, this is uh, the actual aptitude test will be uh, was uh, scheduled on the September uh, 22nd at 5 p.m. So this is a shortlisted mail. Uh, many candidates uh, received it. And here is an, uh, another mail for the aptitude test. So here you can see of, uh, the next steps in the process is the just you have to take the aptitude assessment that is on the September 22nd at 5 p.m. And the time slots and everything is given here. Test link is also provided in this mail. And you just have to keep these instructions in mind while attempting the test. Uh, like the link for the test will go only go live at 5 p.m. on 22nd September. And you will not be able to access the test before that. So at exactly 5 p.m. then only you can uh, just access the link. Uh, before that you cannot access. And that login window will end by 5.30. So till 5 to 5.30 at any time you can log in the test or log in the window. After 5.30 you will not be able to uh, take the test. And the duration of the test is 2 hours. So this aptitude test will be conducted. Uh, the total duration is 2 hours. And while the login window is 13 minutes. It means from 5 to 5.30. And you will get two hours from the time when you start to uh, test to complete the test. So if you have started the exam at 5.30, so that's, uh, the duration of the test will be counted from 5.30. Like 5.30 to 6.30 and 6.30 to 7.30. So by 7.30 you will be completing the exam. So whenever you start the exam from that time, from that time the time will be uh, continued. And that will be counted. And please ensure that you are in a room with a good connectivity of the entire duration of the test and you, sh uh, you will not be able to take test via your phone or and a laptop or desktop will be required so you cannot take it uh, through the your mobile so you must start to use laptop or desktop and this there is only one attempt per registered mail id so uh, whatever the mail you receive to the to your mail so from that mail only you can receive uh, you can attempt the test only one time and you should not share any test link with anyone that will call really to the disqualification and you will not uh, you will need a video or web camera to attempt the test as a test is a video proctored so complete uh, it is in a proctored 
and uh, everything that we watching and you just uh, have to on your camera and and uh, please uh, ensure that uh, your uh, background and everything you are uh, you are in a uh, room with no voice and your background should be very uh, plain is facing directing at, directly at you and your face is visible at all times during the test also ensure you are giving the test all by yourself and are in a well lit room use the default dark theme and uh, disable the remove extensions that change the theme of your browser any attempt at any sort of parallelism will lead to the disqualification and for any faqs just you can click on that you will be getting many faqs and uh, you can also clarify your queries related to the test and this is the rejection mail some candidates are re also receiving the rejection mails from the goldman sachs so they are stating that thank you for your interest in engineering campus hiring program and after careful consideration you will not be moving forward with your application at this point in time so uh, like this uh, uh, they are sending the mails it is in a rejection mail and this is what you will get interface when you open the sample test so already i have shown you the sample test mail some um, candidates were received sample test some candidates were didn't receive the sample test mail uh, it's okay no problem wait till saturday that is on 21st uh, of saturday so if you get the sample test you attempt it if you don't get no problem all everything will be dis uh, will be displayed like this so it is the sample test was having 70 questions and duration is 120 minutes nothing but 2 hours so the total duration is 2 hours and make sure you are not interrupted during the test as the timer cannot be paused once it started so this sample test was also proctored and you should have a stable internet connection and this test will be proctored and any attempts at plagiarism will lead to the disqualification and this sample test was consisting of seven sections and those seven sections are numerical computations numerical reasoning abstract reasoning diagrammatic reasoning logical reasoning comprehension one and comprehension two so like uh, they are consisting of some questions like 12 questions and all comprehension one and comprehension two are consisting of five questions in each so this is a pattern of the sample test and also for the actual test which is going to be held on the Sunday that will also be consisting of like same pattern. So if you attempt the sample test then you can get some perfection in the aptitude test. So based on these topics you can prepare for the aptitude test. And all these are just MCQs and for incorrect, incorrect answer also you will be getting the negative marks. So make sure that your answer is perfect and uh, keep uh, the uh, keep option which you are feeling it as uh, correct. You can also take the FAQs and please refrain that from taking screenshots or photos of the questions during the test since this actively will be monitored. So you cannot use mobile, you cannot uh, switch to the another tab, you cannot close the window. So you just have to prepare for this aptitude test. It will consist of uh, these seven sections and some sections are easy, some sections are hard. So as I told you that I have made a video on the how to prepare for aptitude test. So go and watch that video uh, and I have provided the uh, resources also. So prepare all the questions or topics from the resources so that you will be getting more marks in the aptitude test so after getting this interface you just have to click on continue and also this exam will be happening in the on the hacker rank platform so sample test was also done in the hacker rank platform and the actual aptitude test which is going to be held on uh, september 22nd so that test or aptitude test also will be conducted on the hacker rank platform these are the instructions which were given to the a sample test and just they divided all the sections here so seven sections are there and number of questions are also they have displayed and you just have to click on continue so before that you can also take it uh, you can also take the sample test you can just click on this try sample test they will provide you one question so that you will be getting known how to attempt the exam 
exam on the hackerland platform so after this the you have the you have to enable the webcam access to log in here uh, you, 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 just, you just have to give a photo this requires a webcam access and during the test you will be prom prompted for a photo so just you have to click on this after that you you just have to uh, make sure that uh, avoid virtual background so your ba background should be very plain and find a private place so sit in an alone in a room and use proper light source so that your face will be uh, looking good and you you not have and make sure that you should not have any shadows beside you and your face visible in the webcam so your face must be uh, so your face must be visible in the webcam so when we see the pattern and some problems which were asked in the sample test for the numerical computations some topics uh, some questions were based on the permutations and combinations like they were asked to the uh, arrange the arrangement and everything next uh, one or two questions were on the trigonometric concepts all these concepts we have already learned in the uh, like a uh, uh, 10th or uh, enter so those are very easy but you just have to apply all the concepts and some questions were based on finding the number of integral values for the given equation and like uh, in circle and some questions were based on in circle and in radius the next is a numerical reasoning in numerical reasoning uh, some questions were based on the finding missing letters in a series so they will give some series and in that we have to find out the missing letters and finding missing number in the puzzle they will be giving you a puzzle and wherever the question mark is placed there we have to find out the missing number and the finding the next term of the series so some series will be given and we have to find out the next term so after that uh, whatever the term will come we just have to find out that so no, you just have to think it very logically and finding missing term of the series so you know, just see the differences between all these four statements missing letters missing number and finding next term and finding missing term so all these are different this is in the numerical reasoning and when we come to the abstract reasoning uh, we just uh, 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 finding a water image of the figure and finding mirror image of the figure or finding figure that does not follow the series so all these uh, three concepts are there here they will give you some figure and we have to find out the water image of that and we should also find out the mirror image and we have to find figure that does not follow the series so some questions were based on like this in the sample test most probably in the aptitude test also will be consisting of same questions like this but of different uh, logic and then diagrammatic reasoning this is somewhat difficult but i have gave resources in the video which i have provided the link in the description so watch that and then puzzles that is lr lr nothing but it is based on the logical reasoning so they will be giving you one code and another word will be given further we have to find out the code so that is nothing but finding code for a given word and directions and clock related questions so directions like nothing but north east west and south and some clock based on clock and based on directions they were asking some questions this is generally dependent uh, it is mainly dependent on the logical reasoning you just have to think you have to apply all the previous knowledge and everything so study the given information and answer the question so some information they will be provided either they will provide in the pie chart or bar graph or anything like graphs or they will be giving you some like a pie chart and everything they will give, be giving you some information we have to study that information and we have to answer for the given question this is all about the puzzles and next is the comprehension one and comprehension two so in comprehension one we already know that there will be five questions and from comprehension two there will be five questions so this is nothing but as in the sample test they given they have provided one question like one paragraph or one passage 
further one passage they have provided one question so for like uh, like that for each question they have provided one passage so we have to read the passage and we have to find answer to the uh, given question so this is somewhat easy but it might be somewhat difficult you just have to think and you have to concentrate uh, where that statement is present in the given passage passage so already this type of things we have already did, uh, did in the uh, tenth or uh, inter. This is very easy, but you just have to think it logically. And the comprehension too also will consist of five questions, and for each question they will be giving you one passage. So this is all about uh, the pattern of this exam. And if if you just prepare the resources which are provided in that video, then you will be just tracking this absolute test, and you will be moving for the further rounds so this is all about the goldman sachs campus hiring program aptitude test and all the best for your exam if you have any queries then drop it in the comment section i'll be i will be giving you reply to all your doubts and queries and also you can uh, you can just And also join in my telegram group where I'm giving all the updates regarding internships and job opportunities and also follow me on Insta. Thank you.